Hey guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. And welcome to Collector Corner. That's right. Where today we are here with Pop Mart Universal Monsters, the Universal Monsters Alliance Collection. Awesome. Where we're going to be able to find classic Universal Monsters. So to me, it looks like they are all sitting in theater chairs. Like they're going to see a scary movie in October. Yes. That's what they're I all think comfy. So. They all have snacks. There's a secret we can find, so 10 total in the collection. I really want... I've seen the secret. I really want to get the secret. Okay, hope we but do. There they are. Paul's going to start us off. Yep. If you look at the silhouette of the secret, you can see they have a top hat, so you know that slash from Guns N' Roses. Ah, uh, is that so? Maybe. <laughs> All right, we have... A, okay, the like accessory looks like the chair, and, uh, and the... Um, Perhaps the snack. My figure. Ooh, it's Dracula. <laughs> Here's Dracula. He's awesome. I love... He's in his, like, formal suit. Uh, he has a suit. He has his fancy shirt on and then his medal with the star. He's sitting on his cape, which is cool. Here's the big chair. Check yes. Out the back of the chair. This is going to be a theater chair. But like a director's chair. Dracula, February 12th, 1931. That, I did not know that movie was that old. Yep. He looks like he's just so done with it all. Yes. <laughs> uh, I've seen all these movies before. Everything's a sequel nowadays. He comes with a little goblet full of red wine or something else red. I like it. If you look at it, it looks like it's sloshing a little yeah. bit inside. He's probably swirling it around. Yeah. Okay, he's really awesome. Here's the collector card for Dracula. That's what it looks like on the back. <laughs> he's amazing. He is. All right, chair for Paul. Let's see who I have. Oh, uh, the Bride of Frankenstein. Is that who this yeah, is? Yeah, who that is. Yep, Bride of Frankenstein. Okay. She is holding her snack, I guess. She didn't have any extra accessories. Nope. So she has her little pinky out like she would be drinking her tea. But I can't tell what she's eating. It looks like a, like a juji fruit or a gummy bear or something. Yeah, maybe little gummy treats. Yeah. She's amazing. Love her hairdo. And she has this, you know, gothic-y, dead-looking eye makeup on. Here is her chair. The Bride of Frankenstein, April 22nd, 1935. Bride of Frankenstein card. Oh, they're so awesome. Yes, they are. I like the way they're designed to sit like that. Yeah. Chair. Ooh. Oh, no. All right. <laughs> the modern day... Precursor to werewolves, we have the Wolfman. He's awesome looking. He's all like scrunched up in his chair, like his rear ends on the chair, but then his feet are pulled up to his chest. He has a big bag of potato chips. He's all wolfed out, covered with hair. I like his little green shirt. This is awesome. The Wolfman, December 12th, 1941. Arroo. That was a pitiful howl. There it is. His little toes dangle off the edge of yeah, the chair. Yeah, that's cute. It's like he's scared and he's all scrunched up in his seat. Yeah, nervous. The wolf man. Ooh! Haha! <laughs> I have the Invisible Man. That's an awesome one. Okay, they designed this really cool. So, he's like wrapped up, you know, it, the, there's bandages and whatnot. But here, his mouth is hollow. Like, it, I don't know, I can't explain it. It Here. He can munch the card. You can see like how far, do you, far you can put a card in. His mouth is just completely open because, I don't know, he's invisible. Yeah. He has cool blue pants, a really neat, like, rust-colored bathrobe. His chair, the Invisible Man, November 13th, 1933. And he comes... Ah! With a book. With a book. 
And a slushy. A drink. A little slurpy. Almost drink. looks like a Pepsi. Yeah, Pepsi logo. a little bit. So he's going to hold the drink in one hand, and then his, his other hand is just going to rest on top of the book, on top of the chair. Okay, I'm not quite sure why he brought the book. I guess he was worried about getting bored during the movie. I guess. Let's do. see. He looks like... It works. Um, Oops. Oh, what the heck is Walter White's name in Breaking Bad? I don't know. Like if you just like if you just look <laughs> at that like if that was a wanted poster for I can't why can I not remember the guy's name Heidelberg I can't remember Walter White's alter ego's name in Breaking Bad it's gonna bother me I did not realize that all these movies came out so close together I didn't either. Oh, yes. I was hoping I was going to get this one. Whoa. The Creature from the Black Lagoon. He is awesome <laughs> looking. He is like a sickly greenish brown. Yeah. He's holding a little can of sardines that he's pull, he has one pulled out in his, in his hand. Ugh. He has this glossy wet look with a little puddle at his feet. And then a ridge of spines or uh, fins down his back and near his ears. His chair, Creature from the Black Lagoon, February 12th, 1954. So this one came out a lot later than the other ones. Everybody else is in the 30s, the early 30s. There he is. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, I like how like huge his eyes are. There you go. I don't think everybody else in the theater would be enjoying the smell of his sardines. Yeah. I have the mummy. The mummy. This is not the mummy I know of the mummy. <laughs> this is the Universal Monsters version of the mummy. He is a dark um, tan, his wrappings and face and hair and everything. He's eating like chicken nuggets. <laughs> I think he's eating chicken nuggets. I think he is too. He has a little ring on his finger, yeah. finger which is a cute detail. And his eyes are all like kind of red bloodshot yeah the mummy december 22nd 1932 they like a lot of these around christmas time. yeah they sure do <laughs> the mummy it was a different time hey you want to get in the holiday spirit bring the kids to see a movie about somebody has been dead and cursed for a while <laughs> Oh, I have Frankenstein. <laughs> oh, he's amazing. Look, he's holding a little Halloween, a uh, little jack-o'-lantern. And I think it's filled with Cheetos. A Cheeto-lantern. A Cheeto-lantern. I like how skinny his little legs are. And he has the big clunky shoes. His head is hollow. He has a brain. He does have a brain. And, and then, hair. And then his hair just sits. <laughs> just sits on top. That's amazing. <laughs> His chair, Frankenstein, November 21st, 1931. There we go. <laughs> okay, I love the pumpkin. Yeah, well, I love With his him. face and eyes. Frankenstein. This is going to be my last one, and then Paul has one more. One more. Yeah. Oh, you took the book out. It's the Phantom of the Opera. Maskless. Yes. Let's see, let's put the Invisible Man's book back. We don't want him getting angry. Okay, Phantom of the Opera. I like his outfit. His flowy hair. He's going to have a rose. Puffy pirate shirt. Which I guess he just holds in this hand? Yep. Does it just slide in his hand? And probably one of the coolest things, his mask, it just magnetizes and sticks on his face. Yep. Now you see him, now you don't. <laughs> He's really awesome. He is. He's not just a Broadway play. August 27th, 1943. I think that was the only August, the only like summer release. You're right, it is. 
So there's a phantom of the up. Phantom card. Yeah, and what's weird is like there was no October releases. Yeah. Everything was like November and December. Was there, I feel like one was October, was it not? I didn't think so. Yeah. Okay, we have Van Helsing. Van Helsing, the monster hunter. I think he originally appeared in Dracula, but this might be the 2000s movie, which was actually a pretty fun movie. Um, I enjoyed it. I've, I've watched it many, many times. Um, I know that it has not held up all that well, but I like it a lot. So, let's see. What does he have? A big frothy root beer. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> awesome. Does he hold that in his... He holds that in his... His left, left hand. hand. Right left. hand for what you guys are seeing. Oh, no! Oh, no! His little root beer broke. I didn't even try and put that in very hard. It just, like, it crumbled. That's sad. Man, he also has a crossbow. He does. All right, let's see if he can hold that. That's a shame. That's a real shame. That really did, like, crumble. Yeah. Into several pieces. All right. Um, there's the, there's his crossbow. Yeah. Here, we can just set him. All right, I love his trench coat oh, and his green shirt. Um, all right. He looks a little perplexed yeah. that you broke oh, his Oh, I didn't show the back of his... Uh, oh. There's a chair. There's the back of Van Helsing. Um, May 6th, 2004. So yeah, that was the 2000s version, and he, of course, was a summer blockbuster May. So there is his card. Cool. All right. We now need to pick favorites. Yes, we do. Good luck. I like all of them. I do, too. I mean, I... I would not be disappointed if I got any one of these. Nope. There are some that I would like more than others, but all of these are awesome. They are all awesome. So, go ahead, Shannon. Um, gonna this is going to be based just off the way the figure looks. Okay. Not necessarily my favorite monster. Sure. Can you pass over Frankenstein, yep. please? <laughs> it's all about the pumpkin bucket. There you go, Frank. Okay. <laughs> These are all amazing, and I like them all for different reasons. I'm going to go with Van Helsing. Okay. Just because I like the colors of this character, and I enjoy the movie quite a bit. Dracula, as far as the figure looks, I think he looks amazing, but I prefer more modern vampires. So, Like sparkly Twilight vampires? No. <laughs> like Fright Night vampires, which I guess would now be vintage. Because that's from the 80s. Vintage vampires. Vintage vampires. Maybe. Yeah. I like that. Vintage vampires. That'd be a good channel name. It would be. Okay. All right. You better hurry and get it before the yeah. video goes live. <laughs> All right. Uh, these are our favorites. Which one did you like the best? Leave a comment down below. Let us know. Leave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Hit the share button. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. It's going to make you part of the Collector Corner Club, where if you're hungry for a snack, eat at the Mummy's Chicken Shack. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.